Hi everyone, welcome to Taught Me Not and our yarn unbagging video. Um, I was going to call it an unboxing, but that's not really an accurate description because today we are unopening, we are opening this bag of yarn. Um, so this is the yarn that we are going to use in our temperature project. Um, it is from Premier Yarns um, and you can actually see right up there that it has shipped from the warehouse so this is something that i ordered from their website now premier yarns website it sometimes is a little slow to get to you um sometimes the yarn takes a bit so i would say order before you think you need something um but i had ordered this i made the decision that we were going to do this just before christmas like the week before christmas during winter <laughs> Um, and I didn't expect it to be here on time. I thought for sure that I would be getting some of this yarn pretty late, but it, uh, it surprised me. It got here early, so we are going to go ahead and go through what's in the bag. Um, so the first thing I pulled out is these two. Now, all of the yarns are the same type of yarn, so they are all Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Medley Yarns. Um, I will put the current price for the yarns on um, in the description or up on the screen so that you can see what the current price is as of the day that I upload this video. Um, at the time that I purchased, they were $4.99 each. So I don't know if that is the normal price or if that was because it was Christmas they were $4.99 each, um, but I know that it is not usually an insanely expensive yarn. It's not cheap, but it's not insanely expensive. Oh, she was not kidding. <laughs> so if any of you watch Cinnamon Stitches, and if you don't, please go check out her channel. Um, she has reviewed this yarn a few times, and she... She does what she calls yarn porn Fridays sometimes, and she, like, was Googling over how completely, extremely soft this yarn is, and she was not joking. This is extremely soft. Um, and so, if you're not familiar with this brand slash sub-brand, we'll call it this line, of yarn, um, Premier Yarns is a large company, um, not in the sense of like Red Heart Yard large, but they are a company that sells to warehouses. I don't really know why I'm starting to pull this out. We don't want to do that. Put that down. Um, so they sell to other companies like Walmart carries some of their brand, some of their yarn. And even the Dollar Tree, you can get their basics um, yarn there as well. It's called like Just and then whatever the type of yarn is, like Just Chenille or Just Cotton or something like that. Um, you can get really small little skeins at the Dollar Tree of that. Um, and Premier Yarns is... A company that is tested against certain chemicals um, and they have really interesting and unique yarns and yarn patterns so when we look at this yarn in particular the camera doesn't want to focus on it let's put it behind us so when you look at the yarn on its own You'll see that it has like a striping that's going through it. So when I look at this one on the camera, you could really only see there's like the lighter pink and then there's like a darker color, which truthfully I'm having a trouble telling if it is a, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having trouble telling if it is a maroon, like a really dark maroon, or if it's a lighter shade of brown. Um, but it's kind of like a purpley brownish red color that goes through it. But there is also like speckles, not a whole strand, but speckles of a lighter, almost like white color that's going through. So there's like the main pink, which when I hold it back here is the color you mostly see. 
Then, as you can see, there's spark spots in here that are dark and spots, spots in here, sparks, spots in here that are lighter. Those lighter ones are almost like little white spots. You can kind of see right here. That's the color. And then the darker spots are pretty dark. Let me see if I can. That's pretty accurate. So you can kind of see all of the colors there. Um, but if you look like right here, this like darker thread right there, that is the darker color, which to my eye, I, I almost want to say it's brown, but when the yarn is looked at all together, this is definitely like a pinky color. So this colorway from this yarn is called Rose. So that's this one. We also have in that same little baggie, they came two to a bag. We also have, which they came two to a bag because I only ordered one of every color. Um, when you order multiples, they typically come three to a bag and they would be three of the same color in the same bag. So this color is called Forest. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Ah, here's a three to a bag. So that one probably came two to a bag because they were the last two and I didn't, I didn't buy something that was divisible by three, which was unintentional, but that's okay. All right. This is gorgeous. This is going to be our hottest color. So our color for the hottest days. This color is called Current. As in the kind that you eat, not as in recent. Um, and again, they are all the same type of yarn. So they are all Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Medley. They all say, like new, wash after wash. That's what anti-pilling means. So if you're not familiar with yarn or you're not used to yarn, um, acrylic yarn typically does something called pilling. Um, and it happens after you wash. So give me one second. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm back. So this project that I'm holding in my hand is very old. I made this when I was a teenager. Um, and if you look at it from far away, actually that camera might not show you because it's being so nice to me. There we go. You can see it now. There are like little fuzzies and things that come off. That is because this has been washed and dried a million zillion times. Um, anytime my dog got sick near the blanket, I was sick and used the blanket, um, or it just needed to be washed. It was thrown into the washer and then put into the dryer and it came out. Um, you can do that with acrylic yarns, but acrylic yarns do have a tendency to do that fuzziness, that pilling is what it's called. So anti-pilling yarn, those are tested to not do that pilling thing. So the idea is that you can wash this as often as you need to, throw it in the dryer as often as you need to, and it will not pill. So that's why it says like new, a wash after wash. Um, there's 219 yards in here. It says that it weighs 3.5 ounces. Um, or 100 grams, and if you're on the metric system, this is 200 meters, so 219 yards or 200 meters, three and a half ounces or 100 grams. Um, and then it's tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. So the Okio Tex Confidence and Textiles tests yarns and other fabrics or fabric making materials to ensure that they are safe. Um, so not to say that there are yarns that are unsafe, but sometimes, um, yarn companies use chemicals and, um, different types of dyes that are known to be linked to, or could be potentially related to things that cause cancer, um, things that cause skin irritations, things that could cause allergies. So this is tested to ensure that it does not have those types of substances in the yarn to an extent that would harm someone. Um, so it has the standard 100. It tells you about like the testing in number form and says it's class A. All right, 
They also tell you that there are free patterns available on the website right on the skein, which is true. And they do have both crochet and knit patterns, even though a lot of Premier yarns tend to be like advertised more towards knitting. There aren't as many crochet patterns for them, but you totally can crochet with all of their yarns, including their patterned ones. You just have to pick a stitch that works for it. This is a medium weight number four. If you were going to knit with this yarn, it is four and a half millimeter, and it's the same thing for the crochet hook, four and a half millimeters. Um, 17 single crochets should give you four inch by four inch square, and in knit, it would be 19 S. I don't know what, I don't knit, so I don't know what that means. I'm assuming 19 simple stitch or something like that. And then the, um, Wash directions so you can machine wash on warm and tumble dry. And yeah, so this is the color Forest. This one was Current, and the first one that we opened was Rose. Okay. Which I almost wonder if the rose is supposed to be pronounced rose because it looks just like the wine, but it doesn't have the little accent, so I think it's just said rose. All right, this next color is gorgeous. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so this color is called... Uh-oh. Did they forget to write the color on here? No, there it is. Blue Note. All right, so it's just in a different spot than the other ones. All right, so this one is called Blue Note. And I'll let this one get up close so you can see. It does. It has the lighter blue and the darker blue. And those are the only two colors I see in this one. So recapping a little, when we look back at this first one, the rose, there are definitely three colors in that. There's the light pink, the darker color, and then there's like a white. This one I see mostly red with some black flecks. And that that you see on the camera is pretty accurate. Um, and then this one... I really only see two in this one too. I see a lighter green and a darker green, but there are certain spots where the lighter green and the darker green I think are reflecting against each other and it almost makes it look like there's a third color, but there's not, That's really just two. This one, no question, it's just two, but it looks so beautiful and you can tell like as the light hits it, it changes. Um, so I have a window over there and as the lay is hitting it, you can see it totally is changing the look of the yarn. All right. So that's the next color. That one was called blue note. And then in here we have rust. So this color is rust. Look at how pretty that is. From far away, this one almost looks orangey. Um, up closer, I guess it is still orangey, but there's definitely more of a red going through here. This one I see almost three tones again. I see the darker color that's like a lighter red. Then I see like an orange, which is probably just where the lightest color and the red mixed. And the lightest color is like... It's either like a, a a lighter coral or a darker gold kind of like blurs those other two together. It's gorgeous. So this is that yarn. And, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, this is the last set that was in there. These are our neutrals. So this one is autumn. It is like a brownish kind of color. It has a very light, almost tan color. Then it has like an orangey brown color similar to the rust. And then it has a darker brown. So there are definitely three colors in this one. And if you look, 
right along here, you can see them. So that lightest color there, then there's like that middle almost blending spot, and then the really dark brown. So this is gorgeous. This is the autumn color. Then we have our darker blue, which is called denim, and it looks like blue jeans. Okay, this is denim. The denim, I'm only seeing, well, two and a half. <laughs> so in this one, there's definitely like the whitish light blue, but then the darker blue is in there and the way that they have like spotted it, it almost looks like there is a third blue, but I don't think there is. I think it's really just a two, but in some spots it almost looks like a third is there. And they are all just so shiny and so soft. All right, and then the last one. This is the colorway Pearl Gray. Pearl Gray. And so you can kind of see where the camera adjusted there. This one has a lot of like a cream kind of color. I wouldn't call it white. And then it has a slightly darker gray, but it's a lot less obvious in certain spots, especially. And it definitely changes with the light. So like on camera, this looks like it's got much more gray in it than it does to my eye. Um, even when I'm looking at that exact same space, I can see there's some gray here with my eye, but until I look at, at the camera, it doesn't look medleyed the way that this does. Or is it medley? Or, yeah, it's medley. I keep wanting to say marled or marbled. It doesn't look that way up close to me. Um... So yeah, those are the colors that we are going to be utilizing in our blanket. So we are going to be starting out with, um, well, not starting out. Our color scale is going to start with, you know, below freezing colors are going to be in this pearl gray. As it gets warmer, hmm, hold up. So this is part of the design process. I'm not going to edit this part out. So if you don't feel like watching this part, you don't have to, but I'm not changing it. Um, I'm just putting these next to each other to make a decision about what looks best. So I don't know if I can get my phone. Hold on. You want to figure this out. If you're wondering what all that stuff is above my head, um, I am a special education teacher. And I work from home, so those are all my cheat sheets for abbreviations and things. Um, okay, I'm just going to lift these up towards you so you can see. So we're going to start out with the, the pearl, and then we're going to move into the denim for the next darkest. After that is going to be the brighter blue, the blue note. So here's what we've got so far for our cold temperatures or I wonder maybe if we flopped those two nah it looks better this way yep so we're gonna do pearl then denim then blue note then after blue note we are going to do so I had forest listed next but Mm. Now nah, we're going to do forest next. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. Let's see if I can get it to stand that way for you. Yep, okay. So we've got pearl, denim, blue note, forest. And then this one will be next. This is, this is rose should know that because that's the one that's got the string out from before. Then this is autumn. Yep, autumn. After autumn is going to be rust. And then after rust ugh, is going to be the current. So this is our 
colorway that we're going to be using in our um, temperature blanket cardigan. So these are the colors that we'll use. And what I'm going to do next that I will not do in this video, I will make it a separate video, um, is I'm going to show you on my document camera what this design process is going to look like. I'm going to show little swatches of each color and I'm going to write down the color ranges that I'm assigning to each one to make it easier. Um, and I'm going to go through the process of deciding which color should I show and which color should I not or how big of a range should I use here, how small of a range should I use there. So that is the plan. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up and the little bell to subscribe. That will just help you to get notifications as I upload more. And thanks for watching. Bye.